Hello. Thank you for listening. This is the near-death experience of Priscilla. And this event occurred on September 8th of 2001. Open quote. I was in anaphylactic shock. I knew I was dying. I was in great pain, went blind, and then deaf. Then I died. I went out through my body, down to the emergency room bed, and then flew up in a corner of the room. I didn't look at myself on the bed. I knew right away that I had died. It was pitch black like a total void, and I felt wonderful. I felt so good. I had no pain. I felt light and like I had no body. I knew God or some higher power was there. I knew that he held the key to my going back to earth. I didn't talk to God, and he didn't talk to me. It was all emotions. I insisted I return, demanded actually, because I'm a single parent of four children and they needed me. This went on with my demands and also for my mother, who is 80 and has already lost one child. Then God laughed. Not at me, but I believe because I was so mad and so angry at him. He told me that I could go back because my requests were all for others. Then, I had an out-of-body experience where I saw my boyfriend outside the building. He had broken up with me the day before, and someone told me, don't be upset, he's not the one. Then I was back in my body. End quote. <laughs> I, you gotta live, keep yourself, keep what you want over on the other side, you keep your personality. A nice short one, but there are some questions here. Let's see what they have to say. Question, did time seem to speed up or slow down? Answer, during my OBE, the spatial relations of my being up high and yet my boyfriend being inches from me. Question, did you encounter or become aware of any deceased or alive beings? Answer, yes, I knew I was in the presence of a higher being. I referred to him as God. I couldn't see him, but I felt him. He talked to me through feelings. I was mad at him for taking me, and I refused to go with him. He laughed at, with me, lovingly, for being so insistent that I return. He, quote, unquote, told me my requests were all for others not myself, so I could return. Question. Did you suddenly seem to understand everything? Answer. What we look like, have, do, and are irrelevant. Also, my love for my children changed greatly. I don't love them as much as I used to, and I love them for who they are, not who I want them to be. They aren't my children. They are the world's children. Question. Did you come to a border or point of no return? Answer. I told God I had to return, and I was allowed. I was madder than heck that I had died. I knew I was dying previously, told the nurses that, and then I died. And I told God I had to return to raise my children because my mother didn't deserve to lose another child. Question. What was your religion prior to your experience? Answer. Moderate. Question. What is your religion now? Answer. Liberal. Question. Did you have a change in your values and beliefs because of your experience? Answer. Yes. I love more people, am less, am less anal about beliefs in God, but also I feel very sad at the world. Question. Do you have any psychic, non-ordinary, or other special gifts after your experience that you did not have before the experience? Answer, yes, I blow out light bulbs. If I try, I can talk to dead people, and spirits just appear sometimes. I know people's names before they tell me, and I just know things. Question, are there one or several parts of your experience that are especially meaningful or significant to you? Answer, the best was how I feel about life, and the worst is that I spent two years almost wishing I could die so I could go back. I wanted to die daily. Question. Have you ever shared this experience with others? Answer. Yes, some understanding, 
Some think I'm crazy. Question, is there anything else you would like to add about your experience? Answer, it's been a blessing and a curse. Very interesting story, short and sweet. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.